Greetings, I am Lyle. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Alrighty, my bros. So, um, we have gotten, uh, we, we the MC have gotten our heart broken by our love confession being rejected. Um, <laughs> because... I had feelings, and I bared them raw. <clears throat> and thou disdain! Thou wench did not agree to loveth me! Now we predict white male rage. Yeah. Oh, uh, I... <laughs> and again, I'm not saying that you can't be dis... Like, obviously, feeling disappointed, I feel like, is it's kind okay. of... It's perfectly fine. But the level of, like, I am entitled to you is really not okay. Like, the linguistics that have supported to this, you know, that have led up to this experience, such as the woman I love is doing this thing, and it breaks my heart, there's a, there's a level of strong entitlement, also of the level of going, I guess we could just be friends, and I could suffer your friendship if I had to. Yeah. Like, damn, bro. Woo! My heart is broken, leaving me feeling empty inside. How foolish. I'm no more than a feeble cuckold. Wow, we're going to use that? Whole... Resigned to never leave his nest. Okay, you are totally that douchebag dude. I am like, suddenly, dude. Like... like... I was like, the, the, have you ever seen that, though, online, where sometimes you go, here's the intellectual, here, love, love, this person putting out this rather normal, like, this thing, you'd be like, that should be a normal part of conversation. Mm -hmm. Climate change is real. And this other person comes in, I dare say, lady, this thing, blah, blah, blah. And they just I feel like go off and extol I the feel... virtues of bullshit through their words, and you're just like, you will not shut up. Forgive me. The internet stereotype that immediately comes to mind for this MC is... Fedora wearing men's planner, nice guy. Yeah. That is who our MC feels like. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, well, good luck with that. All right. How foolish. I'm no more than a feeble cuckold resigned to never leave his nest. What? My soul is okay. sinking further into the drain of desperation while the world keeps spinning. Just so you know, you can't get cuckolded for something that you don't have. It's true. The like, thing is, is, is I, this thing, that, that is a level of entitlement. I'm like, being cucked by a woman I'm not involved with. Yeah. Uh, how well, does that work? Right? Like, as far as I know, like, cuckolding is literally the cuckoo syndrome. Like, of, you know, you have the woman being with someone else, and she's having you pay for all of her resources or raise the, her children that are not yours. And there's there's a number of ways to interpret it, such as she just fucks other men and you take care of her, but... Dictionary definition from Oxford Languages. A man whose wife is sexually unfaithful, often regarded as the object of derision, is his, or a verb of a man to make another man a cuckold by having a sexual relationship with his wife. So yes, we I, have no wife, we have no girlfriend. She cannot cuck you, you're not involved. You jerk. You were friends and had and slash have, theoretically, a crush. But you've also said, maybe my feelings aren't real because you don't requite them, so thereby, what I feel no longer must be true. Which is what? wild. Whoa! I'm unable to bear the sound of everyone else's happiness. Everyone else's? You said mixed responses, but yeah. now they're all happy. I... My sanity is blinded by jealousy, which in turn causes me to retreat into loneliness. I mean, you sound like okay, you were already that... lonely, but that's okay. That tiny bit sounds a little bit self-aware right there. My I, like my sanity is blinded by jealousy, so I'm not behaving rationally, I'm aware of this, which causes me to retreat into loneliness, and I become suddenly just desperately lonely. Doesn't mean these are reasonable things. It's interesting that this person is aware of those. On the other hand, it doesn't I... excuse your actions. I also wonder, so you're, you're going to have to forgive me here for a second. Okay. I actually kind of wonder if the author is trying to make it really obvious what's going on. Okay. Going like, the, the character is having this, so I'm going to need to explicitly write this out so you don't get any weird ideas about it. Okay. So, ah, you, you, so know, you don't think the late character is a bad person? So that you know that the character is being a bad person. My or sanity so that you know is they're being, being a bad yeah. person. Okay, so you or, know that they're being Or being a toxic person or unreasonable. You've got to know that right now the lead character is being unreasonable. I'm not even a third of the man I used to be. For what reason should I keep this farce up? What farce? Huh? I... I'm sorry, Ziva. I would be lying if I said uh, that I didn't like you. I... Huh? <sighs> then what's the problem? Everyone else is so happy that she confessed her love. Him, I... We'd like each other. It's, it's probably okay. because, again, he's being un unreasonable and un like uh, uh, ir 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 irrational uh, while he's running away. Because imagine that's what's going on. Yes. This is what's actually going on. Right. And then we get to what's actually going on. There's a lot of flashing around. I'm Again, I'm trying to... F I'm interested to get my like immersed in this game. I'm also dying because her head proportions are like child. Mm. And, and, and then his head proportions are like, I look more like an adult man for anime. And I'm very but confused. That but that makes her moe. Don't you understand? I'm fine. It's okay. 
Right. <laughs> There's no problem. You're beautiful. Any man's ideal woman. Because all men require is beauty. <laughs> hang on, <gasps> hang on. But what, what else is there? there? Fucking, I, um, you're I'm, all garbage people. I'm beautiful. Yes. And what else? And what else is there? And if you don't know, we just yanked that from the Swan Princess, the like, cartoon. You could go watch it. The scene is amazing. It's great. It's fantastic. And that movie is so fucking confusing because it does such amazing things to begin with in the beginning. And then it completely loses its goddamn mind in the other half when they become of age. The first, like, like when 15, they become adults. 15 minutes or whatever is just brilliant. It's a good short film all on its own. Yes. Like when they just leave the palace and then you just roll credits, the end. Right. Well, and then, then there's that scene that happens when, later on, which I still thought was really good. Uh -huh. But then they never do anything with it, which mm -hmm. is still more mind-boggling. But I just like, you're beautiful. Any man's ideal woman. Any. Not, not you're smart, capable, clever, interesting, fun. Nothing. I like you. You're a good friend. Nothing. Just beautiful. <sighs> beautiful women is all the men need. I dreamt of you many times of us being together, I say, fucking out loud in, in front, front of, of everyone. everyone. <laughs> you guys are so weird. Going on walks while I hold your hand. Even our wedding. I have dreamt of these things. <laughs> what? Oh, everybody in the classroom. What? You know, everybody like, in the classroom. Okay, I am this just is eating, a bit much. eating popcorn at this I point. I am inhaling popcorn because the I other half, of, the other half of the class, going. That sounds a little. Okay, I'm done. Back on my phone. Right. Bye. Bye. Yeet. The teacher just sitting here. It's fine. This period's over. We're not starting the next period. We just let them have God, this you're moment. You're so freaking weird. I, I dreamt of the house we would buy, the three kids we would have. 2.5, sir. It's 2.5. That's the median. <laughs> the three names. I'm okay. Oh, God. You're okay. You can oh, do this. This is, this is like, killing me because I'm going, okay, are you trying to do, like, a strong metaphor story? What is this? Like, I don't... Of the names we would give them. <laughs> well, we've got to give the story more of a chance. It's really I've, important. Okay. I've dreamt of you many times, of us being together, going on walks while they hold your hand. Even our wedding, I went backwards. Sorry, I was going to say, that was the wrong Whoa. direction. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Well, I, how did it do that? That's a wild... I don't know. Us? <sighs> um, but it's not gay enough for me. I mean, it's impossible now. The truth is... I'm in love with someone else. I had a massive I... crush on you where I fantasized about everything and I thought maybe we'd spend our whole lives together. And then I realized, as I fell for someone else, that it was just a crush. And I'm really into that other person now. I... I... Oh, so it is true. I had suspected it, but I couldn't believe it. She's... here, right? No, actually, it's a he. Actually, they're non-binary. Actually, I love them. it's they. It's them. they. They, they are They're here. amazing, and I appreciate it, but... No. Ziba, and honestly, goodbye. I also don't need to confess to them in front of everybody, everybody. right now. I appreciate the lack of pressure that I have with them, because, like, wow. Because it's great. This is wild. And you know what? It's fine. All right. She's here, right? That's right. I'm talking about... Looks at another person to add pressure and weight to the situation. Oh, God. <sighs> the new substitute teacher. I am in love with an adult. Screw you. This just keeps getting more, oh. more sensational. Oh. Um, everybody's alarm bells go off. In unison, everyone's gaze shoots towards the entrance of the classroom. I continue to narrate, though I'm not present. A standing there in the wide eye is the wide-eyed substitute teacher, ready for her very first class. I fell in love with her before she even came to this school, which was amazing. I basically just bullshit it off because this is awkward. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Like, I, I just basically shitting me on it. Oh, I'm totally in love with someone else. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I've seen this moment in, like, anime or in books sometimes where someone's like, you're in love with someone else. They're here, aren't they? Actual person you love in the room. You're not waiting to put them on the spot. You. Oh, yes, of course. I love the substitute teacher. You're the crush. Your crush, who has a crush on you, is kind of like, sounds weird as fuck. Hi. <laughs> Huh? And everybody else is just like, oh my god, uproar! And you're like, I don't care because I'm the cool hot guy and you can think whatever you want. Bye! Bye-bye! Yeet. Sounds like a very, like, Tamaki move. Oh god. Alright, so standing ready? there is the wide-eyed substitute teacher, ready for her very first class. The tension causes her to drop her books. A soft stuttering noise is all her brain can process right now. It's not all she can do, it's all her brain can process. Regardless, she didn't need to say anything. Not before she got cut off by sudden hysterical applause. Hysterical applause sounds insane. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what hysterical means by itself, other than disorganized and, like, frantic. Are we? 
Yeah, like hysterical. And panicky. Yeah. Sort of like disorganized, frantic, and panicky. Keep going, but I'm getting a little... Ah. Oh, he's I, back. I came back. Sorry, I didn't know I came back. I... Right. How fantastic. I knew beforehand that something like this might happen, because I am the all-knowing mansplainer. It's fine. I'm gonna try and learn this character, but that's all I'm getting right now. The silence is deafening. You can see the pity growing on everyone's faces. It feels, while they're doing hysterical clapping, as if the Grim Reaper himself has sentenced them all to an ill fate. The music is super edgy, too. What is up with this character? I don't know. You had wanted to confess before Aus did. Both of us knew that he had been planning, and about this unrequited what love. What he had been planning. What he had been planning, and about his unrequited love for the teacher that the rest of this class hadn't even met yet. Okay, so that's consistent. He must have met her somewhere else. Maybe. Because or again, again, he's bullshitting, but I don't know what's going... What? Okay, this I'm like, I'm just confused, so... Or it could be the, her very first class in this classroom, maybe. Yeah. Mm. That's why we had to move on ahead. You out of fear and out of despair. And I out of despair. And, oh, you out of fear and I out of despair. I was like, I lost that sentence so hard. My words parted by the sound of my breathing and accompanied by the sound of my steps, crashed down upon Ziva as I walked to my desk. See, I told you, you shouldn't confess to him. You should have chosen me. See how stupid you feel now? Just like how I felt is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's kind of it. Although the way, but she knew. She knew he was in love with someone else. So it's her God, fault. God, this is such self-centered animu boy bullshit. What the fuck? Keep this going. is wild. Although the weight of her actions is crashing down upon her shoulders, much as mine did moments ago, but I fail to acknowledge. Again, Ziva manages to rise up again, purely out of, I assume, self-pity. Despite knowing that, you still took the risk. I don't understand you, Indian. Don't think I ever will. I... What is this even fucking about? Like, I don't know. In the end, it seems the two of us had the same goal. I guess we're more alike than I thought. To humiliate someone else? I... Are, with the same goal? What? To be in love with, to have someone in love with, to be in love with someone that isn't in love with you? To make everybody awkward at school and go, <laughs> please, can we fucking continue with class? Like, what the hell? What goal are we talking about? I need to know. I... Uh -huh. No, we aren't alike. They really do sound similar, by the way. The yes. characters are all using ridiculously similar language, and I'm kind of annoyed. It's okay. My hand clumsily, re clumsily reaches for something to grasp until I can clutch something. Something, something. While my face twists into a distorted smile. I convinced myself that this time, I really, I'll really win, and I won't let go. This time in the classroom Are from a few minutes ago? Her? Or, I can prove to you that my love is real. Uh, it doesn't matter. She doesn't not believe your love is real. She just doesn't feel it back for you. What is... I have had this problem with men before, where they're like, I'll prove to you how much I love you. You're like, I'm like, I believe that what you say is true. I don't think you're lying to me. I just do not feel love for you, or I don't feel the want for the type of relationship or interactions that you want. That's it. <sighs> I can show you just how strong my resolve is, Ziva. Mm. The scissors! Hey, grab the scissors! Don't do this, Kiara! We can still talk it over! I... Endia, no! I... You're gonna kill her. So... Fuck yeah! No! Okay. Oh, you kill yourself. Taking my own life. Oh my god, the beginning of the game? We just murder ourselves, it's fine. My own life, I mercilessly pierce through my chest. Okay, shoving scissors through your own chest? Like, I want to be sensitive to this, okay? Like, killing yourself is a big fucking deal, okay? Not, not cool, alright? But in the sense of this fiction, shoving scissors through your own chest is hard as hell to do. I do you know anything about how ribs work? Yeah. <laughs> also, whatever. when wow. it's up that high, um, so you have your sternum actually where it is specifically to interact and protect your heart. So mm. it seals mm. together actually a lot of your ribs. You'd have to like dig through or around your ribs, and they're not actually all open. And so you can also pierce your chest and not just kill yourself. I know. And be like a lot of ass. Also, not everybody has their heart in the same place on that part of their chest. By the way, it's uncommon. All right. So a suicide warning for this one, my oh, bro. Jesus. I thought. I was empty inside. You mean broken and shattered, I'm sorry. Oh, I... the squishy sounds are great. But my hands are stained with blood. I am not a hollow one. 
I I am not in the bleach. Are you just having like some profound dissociation here? I have no sympathy. This is so I have no connection to, to you yet. This is like someone's best friend dying in act one of a movie from a franchise I've never seen before uh -huh. that has no background. It's the first movie. Or, or, or it's my other favorite one of where you open up a book and in the first chapter they fuck. And you go... What was that for? And my friend has informed me that apparently that's the way, that's the shorthand to inform people that this is going to be a mature book, but I still find it to be incredibly alienating because you just kind of go, what are you doing? It has no feeling, no meaning, no interest. What? what? What's going on? All right, so I guess I can't change how I feel after all. And this could be an informant that basically this game is dark, so you need to know fairly early on. But, uh... What are we doing? I don't know. This is breaking the chain. This was no matter how much it hurts. Bye. Ah, Diva. And now she is in black and white. This uh -huh. means so much after five minutes of game. It's yeah, fine. It's fine. I. It's okay. I don't care. I don't get this. This is at all. I. I... It's over! Mission accomplished! Endian is dead! Okay, are we saying like this was a dramatic- like, okay, was this a play? No, no, keep going. Oh god, was this a play? Thank you! Thank you all! Hope you had as much fun as I did! Whoa. The spectators began to clap. Due to Ziva's personality, she was- Popularity. Oh, popularity. She receives the most attention. You can only hear them cheer her name. Seeing her play that kind of role is something new and bold. Something the audience excitedly welcomes. It was an act, oh my god. Wow. Well, a job well done. There's no better way to start the day, right? Uh, compañero? I... Hey. That's amazing. Seeing her play that kind of role. Oh, I, you went oh back. it is. Okay, it's left side, right side of the screen. Sorry. Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. Though. I didn't know it was a left side, right side, forward, backwards. Okay, that's that's a new mechanic. All right. I can do this. I'll see. Um, us helps me get up. Then I shake off the ketchup on my clothes. My shirt is a complete wreck, but what could I do? I won how it was a small price to pay in exchange for some laughs. I, you just staged a play in the first class of the day and freaked out everybody. I, I can see the other kids running over now, though, just because of that. What? We aren't known for as the class clowns for nothing. We eat pranks like this for breakfast. What? And the reason everyone was watching, and more realistically, everyone came in, the pranksters are pulling some shit. We gotta come to this class. Okay. That's your prank? I guess. That is fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, that is a thing. Okay, so there was a thing actually where my friend and I, we actually were rollerblading at one point, and there was this guy playing with a knife on his porch, uh -huh. and then he started screaming. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, we turned around and freaked out. We were like, oh my god, the guy has stabbed himself. Uh -huh. And then he was like, oh, oh I was kidding. Uh -huh. And we were both just like, no. excuse me? Oh, it was funny. No. No, no, no. it wasn't. That's not funny. Yeah, no, it was not. Like, he was just he was just sort of like one-handed juggling the knife. Uh -huh. And then he pretended to have it just go through his hand. Yep. And just started screaming out. And it was just like, whoa, not like, cool. It was in, I have really never run into somebody who's going to play that hard. But I have been around some heavy machinery. And I'm just like, you do not fucking pretend that shit. Yeah. Again, also, suicide is a big, big deal. Do not fake that shit. Oh, my. Okay, keep like, going. That feels so insensitive. I, you weren't yourself. You were beating around the bush too much. What the hell was that about? With all the wedding and the kids and stuff? Ah, uh, believe me, bud, it's not every day you get a confession from Ziva, even if it was just acting. Oh my god. Ah, it's totally normal to start picturing things like a wedding and our four future children together. <laughs> and also ad-libbing. Beautiful. Any man would want to. It's the only thing I can come up with quickly. I'm glad to know that that was incredibly artificial, because uh, that was super artificial. Well, that's one of a thousand lies, all right? Right? Mm, yeah. Now the game is lying to us. All right, well, there we go. Ah, uh, wasn't it? Three. Ah. Uh, a lot of things have happened since then, Gombanero. Hi. <laughs> I need you to know. Ignoring my friend's reproductive capacity in his dream world, I try to get to the, the class's attention. I, while the substitute teacher is still like, oh my god, what? I imagine... Also, that... completely honest. He fell in love with her, having never met her before. I, because it was a prank. Uh-huh. The show may be over, but the MC still has something left to say. Please listen, I have something to announce. Be quiet until I'm finished. The play inside your own head, outside of the door, doesn't make sense, though, unless you know the gamers, us, are watching. 
Yeah. Otherwise, it's I go out of the classroom and perform these experiences. Like, I understand you were pranking the player, too. But we shouldn't have been inside um, Ciaran's, uh, Sirens, whatever, head. I almost Ciaran's. Ciaran's. That's how head. I say it. I'm like, that's how I've been calling him, so. Uh, Ciaran's head. Because if he's in there thinking those things, like, deep character, I guess. Uh... I have something to announce. Be quiet until I'm finished. <gasps> ladies and gentlemen and wills and babies. Uh, ladies, gentlemen, bambies, babies. Ah, uh, gentle them. Ooh, thank you for joining us. We'll have to find out in the next one what it is. So thank you so much. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. Got the link in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it, it was, was great playing, playing with you. you. Bye!